So I recently highlighted some of my favourite creator sim mode creators right now, while today we're highlighting some of my favourite built mode creators at the current time. I do have an ultimate list, my favourite of all time, but today we're looking at some new ones that I haven't seen before, some smaller ones that you might not have known before too. So the first creator is called the Clutter Cat. As you guys know, I only download things in sets. We've got a lot of sets like this Snuggle set, which I think looks really nice. I kind of want to use this one for the thumbnail of the video because it looks really cool. I'm downloading one called Sunny Sunday which comes in three parts. We've got a lot of stuff here oh my lord. We've got like a sofa thing going on. CC creators always do things in like two halves and I never know how you're supposed to do it properly. I feel like it's supposed to go like this I'm not sure. We've also got this thing here that attaches onto it. I feel like these things are supposed to attach but you guys know I'm quite stupid so we're, like we're not attaching them today. <laughs> we got some chairs. Oh I like these and there's different ones for the different wall height so you can match it perfectly to yours. I really like that. It's a cute little chair. It looks like a proper B&M chair. That's so nice. And it seems like this one is mostly neutral swatches. We have a little puff right here. Or oh, just like me. <laughs> Again, we have these. I really want to know how these like seat platforms work. I don't know. We've also got these bed frames and we've got like these under bed compartment things here. Like does this, does this go at the end of the bed? Okay, go, no guys, I've worked it out. This is actually really fun this is going to blow your mind so if we place a staircase and we remove the actual staircase bit we can place this thing in the staircase oh my lord guys no look we can place this under it we've also got another one that looks like this too see i feel like this is what dream home decorator should have been now this one is for okay guys this is genius this one is for a desk so i believe with this desk do we fit this desk in here no we we fit this desk in here oh my god no guys look, we fit the desk in we put the chair in and we have a desk built into the stairs and we can decorate it with all this stuff that comes with the pack. All these potted plants and things. No, guys, this is so cool. Okay, and we can decorate it with all the storage stuff that comes in. No, guys, there's so much stuff in this. Oh my God. Like there's wicker baskets and things. Got the paintings for the different walls. We've got, is this a cupcake we can pop on here? Oh, look, we got some ice cream. Lovely. Got a big mirror here. We've got another mirror here, a smaller one. Got like an open book that you could pop on the desk. I feel like you can make a really nice space with this. It even has a desk pad that you can pop on the desk. That's very specific. Notebooks. It seems like this crate does a lot of clutter. I mean, their name is the Clutter Cat, so it would make some sense if that's what their main goal was. We got, oh, look at this floor lamp here, and we've got a taller one. Got a paper bin. We've got like, like, it's just loads of random clutter, and I think it looks absolutely great. Now, it's not just this desk, okay, that we can play with. Here, there's an example of a storage unit. Oh, look at all the swatches. And we can just store like boxes or plants and things. Like we could pop this big plant up here probably somewhere and all of the clutter stuff that came with this pack. Like it's so good. Now I've been putting off doing the bed because it's terrifying me. <laughs> I don't want to do the bed, but I suppose we're going to have to give it a go. Feel free to call me dumb, but I don't know how this works as I can't actually see like a proper duvet. I feel Feel like maybe I'm being dumb. I'm sure you guys are going to start yelling at me in the comments, but I, I found the pillows and I found a throw. I can't find a duvet. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. I feel like I, I know a lot of modders like to do modular things. I will be honest. I feel like they should do these modular things as like a full set for noobs like me. You can't deal with it. That way it'd be easier. There does also seem to be an underbed storage one. So feel free to call me dumb again, but I feel like I'm making this one work. Put a little poof cushion up on here here and this is like a little I don't know like a nook where you can read in or something and you can decorate the shelves with all your little objects and things. I think it looks really sweet you guys know like I'm quite thick so for me this is a little bit tough but I genuinely really like this in general because I feel like you can make some really cute spaces with it. I've also downloaded like a little a cute little bathroom pack. This is by the same creator it contains just like some random bathroom stuff. It's very interesting this side table is very strange. We've also 
also got one of these tables where you can like put the sink on the table. So you can choose like which sink you want to put on there and you can, do you know what I mean? You can choose which one, which I think is really genius. And again, it's, it is mostly just like clutter stuff. This crate seems to do quite a lot of clutter objects, which I really like. You're basically getting the Sims 4 bathroom clutter kit, but for free. Oh look, we've even got a brand new toilet roll holder. See, this is what I like, like guys, I, I, I know I'm being a bitch. Yes, I am being a bitch. But if we look at the toilet roll holder, okay, that came with bathroom clutter. And then we look at the base game toilet roll holder. They look like so similar. Like they don't even look that different, but like modders, they actually make something that looks different like this. This is why like, I honestly think custom content is just so much better. Do you know what I mean? You can, it's like, it's so much more flexible. There's so much more you can do. So the next crater is called a winged llama. And I wanted to look at this crater because their stuff is very, very like old fashioned-y. Like you can see like this whole setup here is very old fashioned. And I think it's very interesting. And I really want to check it all out for you. The crater doesn't have like loads and loads of stuff, but I wanted to highlight them anyway, because they seem like they have enough in order to decorate quite a few rooms in the house. So firstly, I've noticed we've got a couple of nice beds, more than a couple actually. Oh my God, we actually have quite a few nice beds. Oh my God, we got loads of nice beds. These are all like wicker kind of beds. What are the swatches like? They all seem to be quite a lot of neutrals. I quite like neutrals. Like we rarely have like neutrals in The Sims 4, even though they're the, like the most requested thing. Oh look, and we've got another little hanging wicker chair thing. What's this? Oh, we've got another poof. We've got, honestly, I just downloaded loads of random stuff. Like we've got all these sofas. Like, oh my God, there's so much here. I genuinely didn't realize there would be this much. I feel like custom content creators as well. Like they get swatches right all the time. EA never, ever, ever get swatches right on their own stuff. I feel like EA try too hard to be clever and that's why they never get swatches right because they make everything too over the top. I think custom content creators, they keep it quite simple. Oh look, we've got loads of little different hanging lights as well. These are amazing. Oh look, this rug is very, very retro looking as is this one. We've got, oh my gosh, we've got too many plants. There's too much. I don't know if I can deal with all of this. In fact, I believe this is a part of like a blooming room. So you know the blooming rooms kit of The Sims 4? This crate is actually separated like all of the plants that came with the kit and they, they've basically just like separated them out into different things so you can totally customize them which I really like oh look there's a little is this a cushion we can put on our sofa it is oh look we can do little patterns with our little cushions isn't that cute like you do in real life and then they end up kind of getting messy again after about five seconds as soon as you sit on the sofa I think that's pretty cool though oh look you can even put a little pom-pom pillow on there also guys do you want to know the best thing about this crate is stuff okay you can actually put a phone on the wall you can put an actual phone on the wall we've also got a vintagey one and we've also got this modern one you can put here and these are actually functional oh look there's another one here very this is so sims 2 all of this is functional guys we got some curtains here obviously mine's quite big compared to the small windows that i've used but you, you can see them for reference the pack also kind of comes with like a mac like it literally looks like a mac i think that's really cute yes i do really like this crate is stuff it's very small but i think it's really nice and i wanted to share them so the next crater that we have is simply called 876 simmer now if you go over to the downloads there's literally loads of sets oh look we've even got little search i always find these little search filters very very useful so i'm excited to download them now most of this crate is stuff is like living room stuff which i think is really nice that's why i wanted to highlight this crater specifically because i think it's nice to find somebody who just focuses on like one specific thing because then you know what you're getting when you go into looking at all of their stuff so this is called the aviero set from their page which is very it's like very it almost reminds me of paralyzed like it's got that really simple vibe i feel like it's quite it's very simple but it's quite easy to decorate with and i like it we also got a another set. This is just called like the Rocky sofa set. Again, these are very, so see, I feel like we need more stuff like this in The Sims 4, just like very simple sofas and things. There's also something called the Harmony Pack. Guys, whenever I've downloaded like CC packs, they always come with bed frames, but they never come with mattresses. Can you, cause you guys know I'm not good at CC. Are you supposed to download mattresses separately? I mean, I could throw in this outdoor retreat bed in right here. Like, okay, the swatches are ugly, but no, nobody's gonna know. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> no one's gonna know. Like, are you supposed to put like a base game bed in like this and then change the swatch? Like, I don't get it. Maybe that's me being naive. I don't know. But a lot of CC creators often do mattresses, I've noticed, but they don't do beds. I just find it a little bit strange. Anyway, we got a ward, cute little wardrobe with the set too. Oh, we've got a nice mirror. We've got chest of drawers. This is very much giving like Ikea and I like it. It's very simple in a good way. Oh, another poof just for me. We've even got a bookcase here, which is like totally empty. So you can just fill that with like any kind of stuff you want. I think that's quite cool. It's a bit of a challenge for lazy people like me who can't be bothered to clutter. But if you're not lazy like me and you do like cluttering, I actually think this is a really cool idea just to have like a completely empty one. And then you can just like pop down all of your Sims things on there. So that's really cool. I like that one. So the next crater I have for you is Athena Sims 4. Now this crate is quite genius because she basically recolors all of the existing stuff in the game but in nice swatches. So you can see a little, is it called a gif here? This is the furniture that came with the Sims 4 Seasons pack and she's basically remeshed them to make them all look normal. You can see exactly the same as well with the Get Famous stuff. Now if you played the Sims 4 Get Famous you'll know that it's very ugly because the furniture is in absolutely wild swatches but she's basically toned it down and made it all look very normal and this is all she does which I think is great so taking a look at the get famous bed like oh my lord it just comes in like some nice normal swatches which is I think is so much better same with the other get famous bed we seem to have some more toned down ones I mean compared to the original get famous bed guys like <laughs> I think we can categorically agree this is a bit better a little bit more elegant exactly the same with this bed that came with get famous like this one just adds a lot more swatches. I feel like you can do a lot more with them. If you do own Get Famous, you might recognize a lot of this furniture here that's all just been completely toned down, which I just think is a really cool idea. Now, another pack, a big pack that's been changed around a lot is Seasons. All of the default swatches are white, but they all come in different kinds of like plain wooden tones. I feel like it adds an interesting new spin on a lot of the stuff that you may already own. Like even just with the plain white swatch like you can make it look really modern which I think is just like a really great idea I do really like this idea it's not something I've ever really seen before now we've also got a ton of changes for the discover university stuff so this ugly sofa here we've got basically loads of different swatches that you can use for it now the bookshelf that came with the pack has some nice normalish looking swatches now even the blinds literally even the blinds in this pack have had some new stuff added to them. Even the desk that came with the pack, I feel like there is a lot here. Just for comparison, so this is the original one, the original chest of drawers, the cabinet that came with Discover University. And then this is the new one with all the newer swatches that have been added to it, which I just think is great. I deliberately didn't want to go over some like extremely popular creators on the gallery because I feel like you've already heard about them enough. But if there are any other small Sims 4 content creators who do build mode stuff that you really want to see then please let me know down in the comments section your favorite creators and I might give them a go in my next video. If you did like this video you may also like one of the videos recommended here. Thank you very much for watching I will see you in the next one.